Hey everyone, welcome to West New York Brews. On this episode, we're going to clearly define the words cleaning, sterilizing, and sanitizing, and what it means to home brewing. Then, we're going to make up a batch of star sand that we can put in a spray bottle to make sanitization easy. So when we're talking about home brewing, the first step is to clean something. And when we're cleaning something, we want to make sure that it's free of dust, dirt, oils, residues, uh, hot particles, anything that we can see, and maybe even some things that we can't see. And this is a cleaning, getting it so that it looks clean at the very least. So I'm about to make a brew for a different video. So I went into storage and found one of my old buckets here. This was in storage and it did not have the lid on. So take a look on the inside. We've got some dirt in there. So the first step is going to be to clean this. And I'm going to do that at the sink. I'm gonna do it with a cleaner, not dish soap, because I don't wanna leave any oils, surfactants, or anything on there. And I'm going to be using a new sponge, one that I will just keep for my brewery equipment. So what do you use to clean? Most of the time I use PBW, powdered brewery wash. If I'm cleaning my stainless steel, I might start with Barkeeper's Friend. Or if I'm out of PBW, I'll probably use OxyClean Free, making sure it's OxyClean Free, which is free of dyes and perfumes, or just plain old baking soda. I wouldn't suggest anything abrasive on plastic because you don't want any scratches or micro abrasions in there, which can harbor bacteria and make it really difficult to clean. So today I'm going to be using the soft side of a sponge and OxyClean free. So the next step is to make it safe to use. And there's two words here. One word, sterilization, which is something you would do with medical equipment. Uh, and then the other one is sanitization. So either sterilizing, or sanitizing and sterilizing is completely removing all bacteria all microorganisms making it completely free of everything that is sterilization and you can do that at home but in home brewing we don't really need that we're looking for sanitized which is bringing all bacteria microorganisms or anything else down below a safe level Okay, so we are going to make some sanitizing solution today. And almost every home brewer I know uses Star Sand from Five Star Chemicals. It is an acid sanitization product and it has no rinse, which means you can leave it in your fermenters. And I'm gonna show you how to use it today. But the active ingredients in this are dodecylobenzenosulfonic acid, phosphoric acid, and then inert ingredients. So anyway, we are going to create a dilution of this and put it in a spray bottle so that after we clean our equipment, we can spray it, let it sit for a minute, and then we're sanitized, ready to brew some beer or ready to ferment in a fermenter. Now, hot side stuff is gonna take care of itself and hot side stuff means everything uh, creating wort because you're going to boil that uh, and you're gonna boil it for an hour, which is pretty close to sterilization. But then everything on the cold side, everything after you chill that wort, put it in the fermenter and pitch the yeast, everything there you're going to need to sanitize so that you don't accidentally introduce anything other than the yeast which you are pitching. So, so we're going to mix up our solution. And star sand requires one ounce per five gallons. So to figure out the math for this, five gallons is 640 ounces. It wants one ounce per 640 ounces. So equipment, equipment you're gonna need to make one gallon of star sand solution. I have a container which will mark out one gallon or four quarts. This is the same type of container I use for shaking chicken wings, it's a Cambro. However, it is not the exact one I use for shaking chicken wings for obvious reasons. I also have my star sand solution. I have a labeled star sand 
chemically resistant spray bottle and I'll put a link in the description if you want to get a chemically resistant one because after all we are putting an acid in there. I have one of these homebrew funnels. I have like nine of those. I'm not even sure where they came from. And I have a glass container to put the extra star sand solution in just in case I have too much. And of course I'm going to have too much because I'm making one gallon and this is a 32 ounce spray bottle. Now why not just put enough to do one 32 ounce in there because that's one twentieth of a gallon and I would have to do one twentieth of an ounce and then just doling that out would be um, more difficult than just making one gallon and holding on to a little bit extra and using it to refill my uh, spray bottles. So let's start with one gallon of water. All right, I have my one gallon of water, four quarts, and if I'm going for one ounce divided by five, right, because I'm doing one gallon instead of five gallons, one ounce, one fluid ounce, if you convert it to milliliters, is 29.574. So we're gonna round that up to 30 and simply divide that by five. So we end up with six. Now on my dosing syringe, you'll see that five milliliters is really close to one teaspoon. It's not exact, but it's super close to one teaspoon. So I suppose in a pinch, if all you have at your house is measuring spoons, you could use one teaspoon per gallon and it would be really close. But we're going to be using six milliliters here in this dosing syringe into my one gallon of water. Squeeze that up here. Dosing syringe in the top. Six milliliters. Ta-da! These are the same things that I use when I'm dosing out acids into a mash. And I'm going to put that, spray it into my one gallon solution here. Being careful not to get any on the counter, I'm checking because holy cow does it stain. All right. This goes in the sink. Just in case, I'm gonna wipe down the counter because again, it really stains and I don't wanna get in trouble. So, there, <laughs> wipe down my counter. Good, we're gonna put this into the uh, StarSan labeled chemically resistant spray bottle. So to do that, take my spray bottle. Look at that, whew. And slowly, carefully, carefully. Pour it in. And there we have a spray bottle of star sand, ready to go. So now I'm going to spray this into my clean ale pail and I'm going to cover that with some foil, which I'm going to start saying as well, so that the next time I use it, it's ready to go. So hopefully you found this useful, making a spray of star sand and having extra, instead of just filling up a container with star sand and dumping it like I've seen people do every brew. So if you have suggestions on other videos, please let me know in the comments. And as always, I'll see you on Twitter and on Facebook at WNYBrews. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Dodecylbenzensulfonic? Dodecylbenzens... Dodecyl... Dodecylbenzensulfonic. Dodecylbenzensulfonic? Dodecylben... 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 Benzenosulfonic. Benzenofil... Benzenosulfonic. 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 Dodecylbenzenosulfonic. That was pretty close.